Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, in all we celebrate, as we gather at our table, as we gather virtually and Zoom to other tables, as we meet people in the market and rejoice in that meeting, for those are the moments we're getting now. As we walk or drive through strings, streets set up with strings of lights, as we enjoy the bright decorations of the season, Lord, in all our enjoying, let our joy be real. Not something that just passes away, but carries us through a difficult time. And the joy of Christmas should be that, that it carries us, O oh Lord, through all the seasons. And we pray, Lord, for those who, who've cheapened this celebration to be about stuff and things and tasks and specific events, certain parties, that it has to happen. Lord, let, let them learn how your will happens, even when our plans get dashed by whatever reason. Nothing can cancel Christmas. Nothing can cancel your love or the joy we can have because of it. Lord, help us to know this, to teach it, to celebrate it. This we pray in Jesus Christ. Amen. Turning today to John, the Gospel of John, chapter 15, as Jesus speaks, verse 11. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have. Have loved you. Our joy to be full. Full joy. Well, I can know a full belly. That happens a few times this time of year. And it's very enjoyable. And the people we share it with, usually. But what if we don't get to share it? Does joy stop? Can joy not happen just because things that we want it to do don't happen? Where is our joy when everything gets canceled? It's still in Christ. And we may have more precious moments or more reflective moments or more quiet moments. And there'll be different moments, maybe than we planned, but they will be precious all the same. And the joy that we will have will come from the same place it always comes from, truly. And we follow Christ's commandment to love one another, however we get to do that. And maybe we won't get to watch each other open the presents all around the same tree, but maybe we can open the present of Christ's love and make it real in whatever circumstance we're given. Make that extra phone call. Have the time to make that extra phone call. Send the extra letters. Write an extra letter. Do you know what a difference just sending someone a letter, a mailed, regular old letter with your handwriting on it? We can busy ourselves about all the things that we think make the season joyful and bright and sing the carols out your front door to whoever's listening. You don't know what soul you're going to touch. Share the word of God with the person you meet in the grocery store instead of the congregation if your congregation is not able to meet this season. This has always been our reality. It's the reality for many people who are infirmed or in hospital or, 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 or in their homes unable to get out, in prison. There's still a chance to share the gospel. There's still a chance for joy. And it doesn't count on the trappings of the season, the, the things that we always do. It counts on what Christ always does, has done, and is still doing in our lives today. God bless you and keep you. Amen.